Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Payam. I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And let's take a look at the uh, questions that you sent me by email. So you say, uh, first of all, thank you for your great website and your help to all students. You're welcome. You also say, if it's feasible for you, I want to have your advice about my next TOEFL exam. I really need to make an adequate plan to get a better score. I took TOEFL IBT exam about two weeks ago, and my score is now available. So you got 79. So you have 20 points in the reading, 20 points in the listening, 20 points in the speaking, and 19 points on the writing. You also say, I need to have a higher score, at least 95. As you can see, I, I should improve, especially my speaking and writing sections. But besides that, I have to try to make reading and listening more favorable. So uh, you also say, about my schedule, my next TOEFL exam will be in two or three months, and I can study about four to six hours per day. All right. Wow. And thank you for your information. So you got good and bad news. So the, the good news here is you have very balanced academic English language proficiency. So you're almost exactly the same in all sections. So that's good. That means that you've been working on a well-rounded attack or plan to improve your English skills. You just want to get a little bit better than, than what you are now. So you want to go from 79 to 95. All right, you're probably looking at about what you expected here, about two to three months. That seems to be reasonable. I think if you work hard, you should be able to achieve your goal. Now, I want to tell you a quick story, and then I'm going to get into my recommendations for you. Uh, somebody made a kind of comment at my YouTube channel a while back. They said... Um, uh, is it a waste of time to prepare for the TOEFL because the TOEFL doesn't test real life English skills? Now that's kind of a, a, a debate even there is what exactly does a TOEFL test and how much does it accurately mirror the type of English you need at the university setting, right? So um, Anyway, I told the student, I go, well, I don't think it's a waste of time to study for the TOEFL if you use real English in your preparation. So what I mean by that, Payam, is about 80% of your time right now should be spent developing your English for the real, the real world. That means that you're doing real-type English practice activities, not just studying from a TOEFL book or not just using a website. So keep that in mind. Okay, so what do you want to do? Now to help you get that goal, to help you go from 79 to 95, uh, and you got four to six hours per day, and I'm going to be honest with you, six hours of TOEFL study every day could burn you out. You could have psychological burnout, so I don't know that that's a good idea, but I think that you will see in my recommendations I'm going to give you now, it's not just about TOEFL. Okay, first of all, I want you to read every day for about 45 minutes. This is very important. This is real English. You're not reading from a TOEFL book. You're not reading just from materials from my website. You're reading things that you actually have an interest in. I recommend pick topics that you will see in newspapers, magazines, and also books. So start reading every day for 45 minutes. Now the same thing, listen every day for about 45 minutes. Now this gives you an hour and a half right there. Now when you're doing your listening practice, uh, I recommend English TV. You can focus on news, history, documentary, and especially science programs. These types of things are real type English activities. They're going to help you, not just for the TOEFL, but they will help you get used to listening uh, listening type activities in many different situations. Uh, number three, as you're doing your reading and your listening practice, you should be active in that, in the sense that you should really work on your note-taking abilities. 
So as, as you do the reading and the listening practice, take out a sheet of paper and start putting down the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. Now each week you should be writing, you should write about, I'm going to say you should write probably three 250 word summaries. This is important. So using your notes, write three 250 word summaries each week. This is helping you for the integrated writing, as you can imagine. So you need to get used to writing about other people's information. So as you do this writing practice, try to use slightly different grammar and slightly different vocabulary than what you see in the reading and the listening passages. This is not enough. Now you should also speak about these reading and listening passages. So I'm going to say give maybe three 60 second oral responses each week. Now as you're doing these oral responses, because you have to get used to recording your voice, you should record all these oral responses that you do. This gets you more used to doing that. And there's a benefit. You can listen to the recording again and you can monitor your pronunciation, your language use, which means vocabulary and grammar. You can also mo uh, monitor your topic development which refers to how you're organizing and developing your ideas. Now here's a good start. How about that? So if you start doing this every week, this is probably going to put you at about two to two and a half hours every day just following these first five suggestions. Now I recommend here about 80 percent of your time here doing these things. This is giving you the appropriate focus, focusing on real life English that helps you become more of a native speaker. And the closer you become to a native speaker of American English, guess what? The higher your TOEFL score is going to be. Okay, now 20% of your time right now, I'm going to recommend that you begin following the lessons in my online TOEFL course, right? So I'm going to recommend here uh, I'm going to recommend my 90-day TOEFL study guide for you, which will give you lessons that you can work on every day over the next few months to begin building your vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking areas. So little by little, you will be able to improve your time. You'll be able to improve your English skills and ultimately your TOEFL. So I'm going to make an adjustment here. So 70% of your time following the first five suggestions in the video, 30% of your time going through my 90-day TOEFL study guide. Now, if you feel you want to spend a little bit more time on my, my TOEFL study guide, you can do that. And, uh, and to give you another um, uh, suggestion, once you become one of my students, Payam, you'll have complete unlimited access to all 700 of my TOEFL lessons, which means you have the opportunity to either follow my study guide or you can go directly to my online TOEFL course and you can work on whichever lessons you feel you need uh, practice with. Now let's go back here. So you want to improve especially your speaking and writing sections. And guess what? There is one thing. Believe it or not, if you look at a lot of websites, a lot of online TOEFL courses out there, many of these courses, they do not allow you, and I'll just give you one example, Test End, for example, they do not allow you to complete speaking practice tests and get feedback from a TOEFL IBT speaking specialist. I don't get it. I don't know how they can have an online course without offering that, but they don't. And in many of these situations, you cannot complete writing practice tests either and get feedback from a TOEFL IBT writing specialist. But guess what? 
this is exactly one of the reasons why you will join my online TOEFL course is I have a I have a Voxipop discussion group which allows you to post every day independent and integrated speaking practice tests. You can post responses to some of my practice tests in this Voxipop discussion group. In addition, I have over 40 independent and 43 integrated writing practice tests that you can begin practicing and you will get scores about 24 hours of having completed one of those practice tests. All right, Payam, so there we go. Now, if you want to do a seventh idea here, if you feel like you're about to burn out and you're just really, really tired of studying TOEFL, maybe you can watch a movie. And this will break up some of the monotony. And movies are a great way to improve your listening, your speaking, and your pronunciation abilities of American English. So you can certainly throw that into the equation too if you want. So there you go. So this is my plan. This is my what you want to call a seven step plan for you based on the information that you gave me. Now remember you have to be diligent. You need to be studying every day. You said you can study four to six hours every day. If you do this for about three months, I cannot guarantee anything. Every student is a little bit different but I'm telling you, this is going to really have a dramatic impact on your academic English language proficiency. It will help you not just get a high TOEFL score, but what you're doing, if you follow my plan, you will develop long-term English skills for a lifetime. Think about that. All right. Anyway, thank you, Payam, for your comments and for your email, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.